Today is Be Well Wednesday, and we are back with fitness guru James Patrick, who is showing us some great ways today, James, how we can warm up. Warming up, you have told us this time and time again, and we're just refreshing our viewers. That is a necessity before you start working out, and these warm-ups can happen inside or outside, right? Absolutely, mm -hmm. anywhere you deem your workout to take place. So mm -hmm. we, when we talk about warming up, we're talking about warming up the entire body. Mm -hmm. And typically when we talk about gym warm-ups, we sort of localize our warm-up to what we're gonna be doing today. Yeah. So if you're warming up legs, you're typically going for a leg workout. If you're warming up your shoulders, but the problem with that is that it's not warming up the entire kinetic chain. So we want to send signals to our nervous system, the entire body to let it know we're going to be moving. And in order to do that, we've got to do some prerequisites in the form of uh, some, some mo mobi mobility movements. All righty, yeah. so I'll let you take it away. Yeah, so mobility is such a, such a broad topic, mm -hmm. but when we talk about warming up, we want to talk about really getting the blood flowing and even getting your heart rate up and maybe breaking a little sweat. We're going to start with uh, a toe tap and I want you to push the hips back. Okay. Let's get some preliminaries going. Shoulders and back, chest is out. You're going to reach for the either the toes, the tongue of the shoe or your shins and you're going to literally reach for the ceiling. You guys have heard of the head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Yeah. That's a real That's thing. That's what we're essentially That's doing, That's exactly huh? what we're okay. doing, the 2023 version. Now, should I feel a stretch right here? Yeah, you're going to feel a stretch. So the great thing okay. about this is you're getting a good stretch in the posterior chain. That's mm. your hamstrings, your glutes, and that's going to help to loosen up that back, okay? Especially yeah. for mamas to be, that low back tends to get very tight. Right. You know, my back is aching, my back too tight. So you got to make sure that, <laughs> you know, everything is nice and loose. All mm -hmm. right, so let's do two more. We're going to reach down. Now, you, should you force yourself to reach for your toes not at all okay this should be something that you're comfortable but sort of challenged to do now should you be moving fast or at this pace okay slow slow and steady mm -hmm. slow and steady we're not in a rush for anything and if you don't have enough time to work out then that means you don't have enough time to warm up and that means you need to find some more time yeah mm -hmm. now some people you know it's, it's cooler outside right yeah. so we're not able well, we can, but, you know, I don't like the cold. Yeah. I like <laughs> to do our, our outside workouts. But for people that are mm -hmm. working out outside and yeah. running, what are the benefits of that cool air so and working out, if there are any? Well, there, are, yeah. there are a lot of benefits. Of course, you can mm -hmm. get better ventilation, uh, better scenery. So that's going to keep you more mentally engaged. A lot of times when we're warming up or working out inside, we tend to see the monotony of the four walls, and that can sort of deter us from actually finishing or continuing our mm. workout program. So being outside has a lot of good purposes, aesthetic, uh, mental, emotional. Um, and aside from that, I, I, there are some gives and takes to running or doing um, uh, workouts on pavement. Yeah. But I think if you have quality shoes on, you should be good to go. You should be good to go. Okay. Yeah. So we did our, would you call these toe touches? So we're going to just toe, we toe touch and okay. raise and raise it in, in a hand raise. I was going to say raise the roof. Yeah, raise right. the roof. Hand, shoulders, <laughs> knees, and toes. Right. We're going to go into a heel tap, and this is another good warm up. And when we talk about warm ups, we got to make sure that the core is engaged the entirety of the, of the warm up. Because the core is our center, and that's what's going to mm -hmm. keep us up right and support us throughout all of our movies. How long should you warm up before an exercise? So typically we want to go five to ten minutes of a good solid warm up. Mm -hmm. I'm really going to push for seven to ten minutes for a good warm up. Um, that that is depending on a lot of things. Um, let's do a back tap Billie mm -hmm. Jean and then go into a arm press. So we're going to press and bring everything back center. All right so seven to ten minutes is a good time for a warm up. You want to make sure that you're, you're warming up first with mm -hmm. some good dynamic stretching. And these are sort of stretchy mobility movements. This is making my arms feel great. Yes, yes. you feel that blood pumping. Yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> I like it. Nice. Now, I know we're talking about warming up, but what about after you're done exercising? What should you do? So as we need dynamic stretches to warm mm -hmm. us up, we need st static stretches to help cool us down. Mm -hmm. So static stretches are a really good example. It's holding a pose. So it's adjacent to uh, a yoga pose, but it's not necessarily yoga in the, in the yoga realm. But a static stretch, an example, is going to be um, a hamstring stretch that we, uh, we're doing right now. So if you mm -hmm. feel that stretch in the back I of your do. Legs. It actually feels really great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now think about the first thing that we did with the head, shoulders, knees, and toes, uh -huh. where you felt the stretch and you were doing yeah. that movement. So that quick movement is a form of dynamic stretching, and this is a form of, of static stretching, which is preferred when you're done with your workout. All right, perfect, James. Well, we're going to wrap up there. But before we go, I need everybody in the studio to help me give James a round of applause because he just celebrated a birthday. And we did not forget about
about you. Oh my God. Um, I know you don't eat cake, so maybe I need to bring you a parfait. Oh, with some you granola can bring cake. on top. <laughs> okay. You bring cake. <laughs> So happy birthday, thank my friend. You. And thank mm. you so much for coming on. Um, and we're going to continue the fun next week with the fitness guru, James Patrick. Stay tuned.